Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to answer a question from one of my patrons who supports my channel at patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten. And that question is, is it possible to turn a watercolor brush into a cloner? Yes, it is possible to turn a watercolor brush into a cloner, and you can turn just about any brush into a cloner. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. I've gone ahead and loaded an image. This is a painting that I did of a hummingbird. And if I want to create a cloning of that, I'm going to choose File Quick Clone, or you could load it up in your Clone Source palette. You can find that under the Photo Art palette drawer here, which is in Window, Palette Drawers, and then Photo Art. If I hit T on my keyboard, I can toggle between showing the canvas and showing the image that I'm cloning from. I'm going to go ahead and hit T to go ahead and just hide the visibility of my Clone Source. And then I'll select a watercolor brush. I'm going to choose Real Watercolor Speckle Tiger Lily. Now, if I paint with this brush normally, it just lays down paint, whatever I have selected for my main color here. However, if I want to turn this into a cloner, what I want to do is click on Clone Color over here in the bottom right corner of the color picker, and you'll see that your color wheel now grays out. And that means that if I paint, I'm going to clone that background color. So what I've done is I've essentially turned this brush into a cloner by clicking on Clone Color here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can do that for just about any brush. So I can go ahead and put in my big broad shapes for my background here. I can hit T to bring back my clone source. I can select a different brush. Let's try real pointed bristle. We can turn that into a cloner as well. And if you're worried about messing up your brushes, you can always reset a brush up here in the properties bar by choosing reset tool. So I'm gonna make my brush smaller. I'll go in here and I'll paint in just some area here. I'll hit T again and you can see it's starting to clone using that background color, but it looks like watercolor because it's a watercolor brush that I'm cloning with. Let's change our brush to a watercolor category brush, and let's choose watery glazing round. Let's turn that into a cloner by turning on clone color. And we can go in here and we can paint with this kind of watercolor brush. And there you go, we have a nice cloning of a hummingbird using watercolor brushes. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you'd like to learn more about Corel Painter, check out my video courses at gumroad.com slash Aaron Rutten. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.